this tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the notification center pattern in iOS. Uh, first and foremost, when we talk about the notification center pattern, it is a communication pattern in iOS and it does not refer to using this notification center that you can swipe down on your phone. So with that being said, let's get started by creating a brand new Xcode project. We're going to pick a single view application call it what you'd like save it wherever you'd like and let's expand this window to give ourselves some more room to work and let's do this side as well let's pick our simulator here and let's run our app it'll be an empty app give it a second to pop up like so so what we're going to do is model the notification center and its benefits uh, with an example so first and foremost, the notification center pattern is the notion of multiple objects being able to subscribe to getting a notification about something and something has happened. And one other object being able to publish or post that notification. So the, the simple example that I like to give people is uh, imagine that there's a guy on a roof that's yelling stuff. Um, and there's like a hundred people below. Let's call those our objects across our app. Five of those people that are standing on the ground can subscribe uh, or they can choose to observe what the guy on the roof is yelling, right? In other words, those five people are listening where the other 95 people can tone it out. That's basically what the notification pattern is. Uh, the person on the roof, they can post a notification and the people that are subscribed and observing for it can receive it. So we're gonna go to our main.storyboard and the way we're gonna exemplify this concept is by creating a quick tab bar app and we're going to uh, have a label on each uh, view controller. We're gonna add three with three tabs. And when you press a button on the first screen, the label on the other screens will also change. So if you're not familiar how to create a tab bar app, you can follow along, or I encourage you to watch the other video that I did on how to put together a tab bar app. So let's first start by getting rid of this view controller. And let's come up here. Let's search for a tab bar controller. And let's put it on our storyboard like so. Let's change the background color of each of these uh, view controllers by clicking it, selecting something else. Let's do something dark for this one. Let's do a dark one over here too. Let's do a gray. And let's get one more view controller. Put it here. And let's connect our tab bar controller to this. And let's leave this one as a white background. Let's put a button on this view controller. Like so, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's change it to tap me. And let's pin this button with some constraints. Let's do 20, 20, 20 and the height of this We'll do 52. We also want to click on this and specify the class for this as view controller. Now let's go to our view controller.swift. Let's add a IB function in here that will get called once we press the button. Like so. Let's go back to our storyboard and connect that IB action to this button that we've added right here. And we can do that by simply right clicking this and dragging from button tapped uh, to our button. And we're gonna do touch up inside. And lastly, we wanna create two view controller classes and assign them to these uh, two view controllers that we have. And we also want to select this tab bar controller and check this box that says is initial view controller, which will tell our app to go to this tab bar first and foremost when the app launches. So let's right click this up here, do new file, 
Coco Touch class. We want to add a UI view controller. Let's call this second, enter, enter. Let's do that one more time. New file, Coco Touch class. Let's call it third view controller. Save it. And last but not least, go back to the main storyboard. And let's specify this gray one as second and this one as third. So this is basically just a setup that we're going to do for the sake of uh, showing what notification centers are useful for. So we have a tab bar controller and we have these three tabs coming off of it. So let's, uh, let's organize this a little bit to get my OCD in check. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and run this application. We'll see an app with three tabs with a black background, a gray background, and a white background. So you can click through all of these and we have this button. So what we're gonna actually do instead of a label, because I think colors are probably easier to show this, is when we click this button, we wanna change this screen's color to red, this one to red as well, and this one to red as well. So we want these two screens to observe for a notification and we're going to call that notification color changed. So let's go back to our view controller. And in this function, what we're going to say is we want to publish a notification and it's going to send out a notification when we hit this button to everyone who's listening. So we're going to say notification center dot default and we're going to post whoops we're going to post notification with a name this is going to be notification dot name let's call it color changed the object will do nil in this case and the other thing we want to do is we want to set the background color of this view controller to red. Now, if we run the app and if we come here and click on this button, we see this turns red. If we come over here, nothing has changed. And the reason for it is because we need to add functions to the second and third view controller that listen or observe for this notification. And once they get this notification, they need to also set their background colors to red. So let's come here and in the view to load, we're gonna say notification center dot default dot add observer. Uh, and let's do this first one. We're gonna add an observer to ourself. Let's skip selector for, for now and let's do notification dot name and let's put the same name in there. The object can be nil. And this selector is a function that we want to be fired once this notification is received. So we're gonna say uh, hash sign selector did tap button Actually, let's do notification received. That's probably a little more cognizant of what's going on. We can delete this comment here and let's add this, uh, this function. So we want to do func that like that. And it's going to give us a quick error here. And the reason is, is because notification center under the hood is objective C. So we need to annotate this with at sign objc for objective c and let's actually copy and paste this to our other view controller so we can take this and do that and in this function once we receive the notification we want to also say view dot background color is red and same thing in here and that about does it. If we run our application, once we hit the button, we expect these other objects, in this case, the whole screen, view controllers, to turn red. So if we hit this, 
This is red. This is also red. This is also red. So yeah, that's an example for how to use Notification Center. Um, this is a really good paradigm in terms of letting multiple objects know that you are communicating to them. It's a, it's a staple of communication in iOS uh, app development. A real life example of this that's very commonly used is if you're logging into an app. So if you think of an app like Instagram, you have a login uh, view controller. Once you log in, if you have other view controllers like your profile or notifications or discover or feed, you can send off a notification to all of those view controllers and you can say, hey, this person's logged in, go fetch their content. The other important thing that I will mention about notifications are, well, two things actually. One is similar to how you can add an observer, you can also remove an observer. So we want to make sure that we keep our usage of notifications as memory efficient as possible. So we can also remove an observer um, and we can, you can see that there's actually a couple of variants in here. You can remove an observer from a self. You can provide a name in here, an object. And the second thing I wanted to mention is what is this object thing? Because we saw it in here, we saw it in the add observer and remove observer also. The object essentially, um, let's actually go to our view controller. Our object in here, when you're posting a notification, you can send a parameter uh, as an object along with the notification. So in other words, taking our Instagram login example, if a person logs in, we might want to send in the notification uh, the person's user ID or maybe their username. So going back to our example of someone standing on a roof and yelling to five people listening below, the person might also be throwing stuff and we want to make sure as the observers we receive that stuff, uh, whatever it may be. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Notification Center in a nutshell. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like the content, please hit that like button below. It helps the video and the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I do daily Swift tutorials, other tech stuff, etc., etc. I'll see you in the next video.